Hi everyone, this video is going to go over the Raw Fed and Nerdy spreadsheet add-on, how to install it and how to use it. It does include the a new feature of saving and editing recipes, so stay tuned for that, especially if you have been using the old version of the add-on. So first of all, everyone, including older users, do have to go and reinstall the add-on. So you go to your RFN spreadsheet, go to add-ons, get add-ons, and then you're going to type in Raw Fed and Nerdy here. And then you should be see our logo here, then you're gonna click install. Now it's gonna ask you for a couple of different permissions. If you have um, questions about any of those, you can go to rawfedandnerdy.com slash privacy dash policy. And that'll give you a little bit more information about each of the um, permissions that we use, why we need it, and what we'll do with it. If you have any questions about any of these permissions and privacy issues, please contact me, Savannah, or on. We'd be happy to answer questions. So back to my spreadsheet, I'm gonna go ahead and give it all these permissions. Now, it does take a little bit of time to get this um, completely set up, so bear with me, especially if you have slow internet connection, you're gonna to have to re refresh your spreadsheet at least once. All right, so it's done adding, and we're gonna wait for it for a second. Right now, it does not have any of the features yet, it just says help. You do have to tell it to install it into the spreadsheet so you go back to manage add-ons you go over here and you say use in this document it's gonna think again and then we're gonna refresh it so this is a part that it does take quite a bit of time Bobo <laughs> Bobo bear Shh. Don't talk to the ghosties. All right, so my spreadsheet is all done loading, so I'm gonna go back to add-ons, and then you should now be able to see the two new features. So it says USDA slash FDC. That's the feature to help you import items from the USDA database, or now called Food, Aid, Food Data Central. Um, and then recipes, so that's for saving, editing, and populating your recipes. So we're gonna go over the food import option first. So when you click on get report, it's gonna ask you for the FDC ID. So if you go to fdc.nal.usd.gov, basically Food Data Central, um, you should be able to look up an item in the database here and get its ID number. Now, the type um, of data that is matches completely with the nutrient profile in the raw fed and nerdy spreadsheet is going to be SR legacy. Everything else might have slightly different nutrients, um, so you're not going to get a complete matching of everything in the database except SR legacy. So that's what I'm going to um, narrow my search to. So I'm going to click on chicken liver, copy this FDC ID right here, go back to my spreadsheet and enter that gonna think for a second and then if I go to the food database it should have that entered so if I go control F and look for it I should be able to find it back here it's got no label so I do have to give it a label so I'm gonna label it chicken liver and then these are all the values per 100 grams that's what the uh, database imports them as so that's how to import items from the USDA database now the other features here for recipes, that's for the regular condensed and toppers recipe builder. The toppers recipe builder is for the pack formulation spreadsheet. So if you have the standard, don't worry about it. So I'm going to go to the recipe builder here. I built up a sample recipe. I'm going to label this Sam's test recipe up here in the first cell on the top left corner. Then I'm going to go to the add on recipes, save, and then regular, because this is a condensed, or this is a regular recipe builder. So that's gonna think for a second. And then when you go to the recipe database, you should see that enter here. So you should see all the ingredients here labeled Sam's test recipe for my dog Sam for one day. And then you can see all the ingredients and their quantities here. Now the feature works exactly the same way on the condensed and the toppers recipe builder. For the toppers builder, the add-on will give you a couple more prompts about how to name the recipe. Just follow the prompts as it says and on the add-on and you should be fine. Now, for the editing and populating features, those work a little bit differently. So if you go to edit, um, you can 
delete all the ingredients in your recipe builder and import ingredients um, from a previous recipe. So if you go to, if I go to the recipe builder here, I can look up Sam's recipe number one. It's got a different set of ingredients. Then I can go back. Go to edit. And then it'll say enter the name of the recipe semicolon and then the name of the animal. So, so I'm going to try number two semicolon Sam. I'm going to press OK. So it'll clear the recipe builder for me and then it's going to populate all the ingredients for Sam's recipe number two. So give it a second to think and then all these values should populate again and then you should be able to see that that's what this recipe looks like. Now, if you go to populate, it works a little bit differently. So what it does is it just adds the ingredients of another recipe to the builder. So if your builder is blank, then that's going to be the only ingredients. If you have other ingredients in there, it's just going to add to it. So if we do Sam's recipe number one, Alright, so you can see we've got a ton more ingredients back here now because it's basically just doubled the recipe because it's added a completely other recipe to it. So that's how the populate um, and edit features work. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me, Jenny Rue, at Jenny at um, or on, we can find us both in the Raw Fed and Nerdy Facebook group.